The next step to becoming financially indistractable is to plan for traction. Traction, as a reminder, is any action that moves us closer to our goals, things that we do with intent, helps us live the kind of life we know we deserve by making sure that we do what we say we're going to do with our time, our money, and our attention. It's absolutely critical that we have a plan in place. To do this, we need to start with our values. What are values? Values are defined as attributes of the person you want to become. Now, it's not up to me or anyone else to tell you how to spend your money. It's got to be spent according to your values and your intentions. Now, how do we decide how we can spend our money in a way that's consistent with our values, with the kind of person we want to become? This is where I offer up three life domains. The first life domain is you. It's critical that you take care of yourself because if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of others, you can't make a positive impact on the world. So deciding for yourself how you will spend your money consistent with your values. Maybe that involves a gym membership, proper nutrition, proper rest, proper health care. Making sure you've made a budget to take care of yourself is critical. The second life domain is the relationship domain. Many of us spend money on our relationships with whatever scraps are left over. It's important that we budget not only the time, but also the money to invest in our most important relationships. Whether it's a date night with your spouse, whether it's going out for a fun engagement with your kids, or hanging out with your mates in a way that bonds people together. It's important that we make that budgetary allotment to the important relationships in our life, not only with our direct family, but also with our community. Maybe donating to charity by donating to a local group is part of building relationships with other members of your community. The last life domain is the work domain. Now work is obviously our source of income, but it can also be a place that we wanna invest for future returns. So putting away some money every single month as part of our monthly plan for something that can pay us future dividends can be a very smart move that we want to make sure we allocate in advance. So investing in real estate or a stock portfolio, or even investing our human capital in some kind of intellectual property like starting a podcast, a blog, writing a book, something that will pay us future dividends by putting money and effort and time in today so that we can enjoy the fruits of our labor tomorrow. So by making a plan for traction in our three life domains, you, your relationships, and finally your work, this is how we make sure we stay on the path towards financial freedom. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to manage our external triggers.